Hello guys and welcome again to the JavaFX A tutorial and today's video we're gonna talk about images okay so let's go to our first slide okay here's the slide and here's an example of the application that we are going to use in order to explain the the explain images okay so in order to load images in our applications we need two classes the first one is the image class which is this one here and the second one is the image view class this one here so let's start with the image class. The image class is used to load uh, an image in the memory. Okay, so we can then display this image by using the image view class. Okay, so image class loads images in the in, the, in memory, and image view displays the image in our application. Okay, so as you can see here, image uh, the class image has uh, constructors. And it has different different constructors. We're going to review uh, the values that we can pass to this image, okay, in order to uh, load uh, an image file. In the image view, well, uh, you can pass the image uh, class, the image object, sorry, in the constructor or the image view class, or you can uh, leave this uh, constructor uh, empty if you want. Uh, in order to set the image inside our our image view we use the set image method and we pass the image uh, object uh, and then we can set the dimensions of this image view this node uh, image view by using the set fit height and set fit width okay, we pass values in in pixels okay so let's go to netbeans in order to explain this better okay so here we are in netbeans and this is the code and we want to show you the result of the code so we have here our application, and when we click on Add New, uh, File Chooser is uh, displayed. We can select images from our computer. Okay, uh, I'm going to select another one here. And well, we can navigate through a list uh, that I created, a list of images, a right list of images. and we can see here the, a little image, a, a thumbnail here. We can click on it and then display this uh, same image in this uh, bigger image view. Okay, as you can see here. Okay, we can remove images as well if we want. So that's what the application does. These two images are displayed by using an image view. Okay. So now let's go to the code and see the image view class, which is this one here. The, um, this image view is this one here, and this one is the little one here. Okay, so we have two image view here, two image view objects. And well, for the image view uh, with the thumbnail, we use the set fit height and the set fit width. We are setting the dimensions. Okay, so it is 100 and uh, for height and 200 for width, and that's why we are seeing our images with those dimensions. Okay, here. For this uh, image view, we are not setting the dimensions here. We are setting the dimensions by using the image class. Okay, so then we can display this image in the uh, in the image view. Okay, so in order to load an image with an image class, we need to specify a URL, and the URL can be specified in the in the following ways. Uh, if we have an image in our project inside NetBeans, we have dragged and dropped an image in our project inside the, the same package of the of the class. We just we can use this this one this type of URL here in the constructor with this slash. And then the name of the image that is in in our project, okay. Uh, and then we can use as well uh, if we have an, the image in our project, but it's, it is in a different package of the of the class. We use this this form here. We can specify the root of the package uh, with the packages, and then the the name of the image. Okay, so these two types of URL are used when we have images in our projects. Okay, then we have these two types of, of URLs, and we use them in order to select images in our computer. So we use the, the word file, and then we need to to write to specify 
specify the the location in our computer okay the location path of the image in our computer always make sure to use uh, double backward slashes okay in order to uh, to create only one slash for the URL okay so always use it this way and well we have this other option here and this option is for images that are in, are in the same directory of the class okay same directory of the class and then we just need to use the word file and then we need to write the name of the image okay images that are not in in our projects in netbeans but are in the same directory of the class okay that's how we use these two forms of url and also we have another form which is the one that uh, inserts a uh, an image from a URL in the web. Okay, so we can pass the URL and uh, web direction, you know, the web URL, sorry, in the constructor, and the image so should be loaded in the image uh, object. In this case, we're using uh, the file object, the file object to catch the 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 location path that we are selecting with the file chooser okay, the file chooser uh, object returns a file object and inside this file object we have the location path we need to convert this location path to a URL and then to an uh, string okay so we have to convert this file to a URI uh, then to a URL and then to a string we need to do it always this way because we're uh, this way we are making sure that all the special characters in the URL are converted to something that uh, that the image class can read. Okay, so we need to do it this way always. Okay, so once we have our URL converted into, into string, here we pass it to the image constructor. So the image can be loaded into this object, image object. Okay, once we have our image object with an image, we just pass it to the image view. Okay, so this one is an image view. We use the set image method. We pass an image object. Okay, so that's why you can see our image here was one and once we select it from the file chooser, we can see the image in here. Okay, we're passing the location and then we are loading the image and then displaying this image with the image view okay so we have uh, another constructor in the image class for example here here we have this constructor with six values and I'm gonna explain all of them the first one is the URL that you already know how to uh, create a URL uh, and pass it into in a string okay and these two values here are the dimensions, the dimensions of the image. So we, the first one is the width and the second is the height. Okay, so all the, this image that is loaded here will have these dimensions. Okay, and the next will be preserve radio. This is a boolean value and when we set this value to true, we are saying to the image, uh, to the application that the image uh, should uh, you know, keep the relationship between uh, width and height of the original image. Okay, for example, here we have this image. Here, it looks uh, it, it's not like a, like the normal relationship of width and height. And when we select it here in this image uh, here, we have this preserve radio set to true. Okay, so that's why you can see this image like this like the, the relationship between height and width you know is the same as the original image so you can see it in a proper way so this image here has this property set to false so that's why you yeah, you are seeing this result here okay so then we have the smooth value which is a boolean value too and when it and when it has been set to true this value um, Will make that the, the application applies an, an effect to improve the quality of the image that we are displaying. Okay, so of course, if the image is uh, 
it, it, the image, uh, depending on the image, we it, it can you know uh, it can uh, affect the performance of the application. Okay, so we have uh, we have set this to true. And the last one is background loading, a boolean value as well. And when we set this to true, we are saying that the image should be loaded in another thread and in a new thread in the application. So this will have to keep the performance of the application. It won't affect it, its performance. Okay, so I, I suggest to, to set this to true. Okay, if we set it to false, the image will be loaded in the same thread of the application. So the performance can be affected in, in some way. Okay, so those those are the, the the values that we can pass to the constructor in order to modify how an, an image is loaded in the image uh, object. Okay, so once again, once we have our image, we pass it to an image view. We use the set image uh, method and we pass the, the, the image object. Okay, so that's why you can see here everyone every time we click on this image here and uh, image view here we are passing an image uh, object to this image view so you can see it like this okay so that's the way we are uh, loading images into our, in our application so please don't miss the next video because we are going to review more features about images okay so see you next time Thank you for watching this video guys and please don't miss the next one because we're gonna review more features about images. So please like, subscribe and share and see you next time.